yeah, we've done so many kinds of rice bowls, so I'm pretty sure you already have lots of good recipes in your personal cookbook. But if this is not in your book, then you're missing out on one of the most satisfying rice bowls of all time. Today, we're gonna be making a chicken rice bowl with gochujang, Korean chili paste. It's super simple and delicious. It's gonna be a great lunch, dinner, or even your meal prep. I guarantee it. For this, you will need some chicken, onion, garlic, ginger, chili pepper, green onion, and a bowl of hot rice. That's it. So simple, right? But if there's only chicken and rice, you'll be a little sad, right? So with this chicory, let's make muchim, a Korean-style salad. What? You can't get this? Don't worry about it. Add leafy greens, garlic chives, or even cucumber will totally work. So just pick anything you want and try it. Trust me, everything will be fantastic. First, let's talk about our chicken. Today, I'm gonna be using 300 grams of boneless skinless chicken breast and the same amount of chicken thighs. Because if you only use chicken breast, it can be a little dry and tough. Yeah, the fat from the chicken thighs will make it more moist and flavorful. And we're gonna be mincing them later, but if that sounds like too much work for you or you wanna make this much easier and faster, then just get some ground chicken from the supermarket. Yes, that was my plan, but... It was sold out, dang it. Anyways, to mince them more easily, let's pop this in the freezer while prepping our vegetables. First, thinly slice some green onions and separate the whites and greens. The whites are gonna be stir-fried for beautiful aromatic oil and the greens are gonna be used for garnish. Next, finely dice a quarter of an onion. Since we're gonna cook it with ground chicken, if it's too chunky, there might be some kind of imbalance in texture. So make sure to finely dice it. And then smash 5 cloves of garlic and finely chop them. What? You wanna get more authentic Korean vibe? Then bring more garlic here. 10, 15, 20, it doesn't really matter. But if you're using 1 or 2, nobody will say that's Korean style. So please use more than 5 cloves of garlic. That's the key. And once that's done, grate a small knob of ginger. About 1 teaspoon will be enough. Lastly, thinly slice some chili peppers. Actually, these guys are mainly for color, so I'm just gonna use some mild chilies here. But if you're a big fan of spicy food, then get yourself some Cheongyang chili pepper or bird's eye chilies. But don't call my name with the effort in the bathroom the next day. Now let's move on to the sauce. In a small container, add 2 tablespoons of Korean chili pepper flakes, 3 tablespoons of gochujang, Korean chili paste, 1 tablespoon of soy sauce, 1 and a half tablespoons of oyster sauce, 1 and a half tablespoons of sugar, 2 tablespoons of mirin, and give it a good mix. That's it. So simple, right? But if you're worried that it's too spicy for you, then reduce the chili pepper flakes. Cold brown situation? I'm not responsible. This time, let's make the dressing. In a small bowl, combine 1 tablespoon of Korean chili pepper flakes, 1 and a half tablespoons of vinegar, 1 tablespoon of sugar, 1 tablespoon of toasted sesame oil, half a tablespoon of toasted sesame seeds, half a tablespoon of minced garlic, 1 teaspoon of fish sauce and give it a good mix. What? You don't like fish sauce? Don't worry about it. It's not gonna be fishy at all, but full of umami. So don't be afraid. Alright, finally, let's prep our chicken. Take the chicken from the freezer and finely mince it. But like I said before, if it sounds like a hassle, get yourself some ground chicken or put it in a food processor. But in that case, freeze it for at least 20 minutes. Otherwise, you're gonna have very mushy chicken at the end. Alright, everything is ready to go. Let's get cooking. In a wok or pan, add 2 tablespoons of oil and heat it over high heat. Once it gets nice and hot, add the minced chicken, spread it out and just leave it in the pan for about 2 minutes. When the chicken is nicely browned on the bottom, flip and stir fry for about 4 minutes. Once the chicken is cooked and most of the liquid has evaporated, stir in the white part of the green onions, onion, garlic, ginger and stir them around for about 2 minutes. 
When the fat from the chicken thighs meet our lovely aromatics, that will create an amazing flavor and fragrance. And that will take you to the next level. So if you're just using chicken breast and you couldn't get enough fat like this, then add some more oil. Or when mincing the chicken, you could also include the chicken skin. Anyways, once the garlic turns nice golden brown, pour the sauce we made and give it a good stir for about 2 more minutes. And then grab a spoon, give it a quick taste and add more salt to taste. Alright, let's turn the heat off. And to that, add the rest of the green onions, chili peppers, some black pepper, 1 tablespoon of toasted sesame oil and give that a final mix. That's it, super easy, right? Alright, just set that aside and let's finish our salad. Take some chicory and tear them into bite-sized pieces. And then pour on the dressing and give it a nice gentle toss. Yes, I said gentle. If you don't take my advice and squeeze it, you will see some kind of wet grass in your backyard. That's a disaster. Finally, it's time to assemble. Let's get some rice on a serving plate. And add a generous amount of our chicken stir fry and some salad. And for a prettier presentation, let's finish it off with some soft boiled egg and toasted sesame seeds. How does it look? It looks fantastic, right? Alright, let's cut our taste tester. Claire? Mmm! So gorgeous! Let's give it a try! Before we try the main star of the show, let's try this salad first. It's gonna stimulate my appetite. Christmas tree처럼 예뻐. Oh, 새콤새콤, 맛있겠다. Cheers. 음, 역시 탁월한 선택이었어. 음, 새콤하니 너무 맛있네. 음, 입맛을 잘 끌어줘. 이 무침 소스는 그냥 진짜 만능이야. 어떤 야채가 들어와도 딱 그냥 그만의 매력을 잘 살려주는 것 같아. 너무 맛있다. 괜찮네. 음. 음, 맛있어. 아, 답게. 밥이랑 같이 먹을까? I think it's so pretty in here. Cheers! 음, 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 맛있다. 아, 고추장으로 해서 그런지, 그냥 뭐, 그냥 맛있는데? 음! 일단, 고추장을 베이스로 해서 그런지, 이 자체가 되게 풍부해. 풍미가 가득하게 맛있고 거기다 마늘의 향도 되게 세게 나는 데다가 생고추를 넣어가지고 되게 맛이 풍부해졌어 아 그리고 시중에 있는 그런 간고기를 쓴 것보다 직접 이렇게 다져서 쓰니까 입자들의 크기가 되게 불규칙해서 훨씬 먹었을 때 식감이 더 재미있고 씹는 맛도 더 추가되는 느낌이야 음 맛있네 이 부리또 같은 데다 넣어서 먹어도 엄청 맛있겠다 음. 약간 제육볶음 먹는 느낌도 있어가지고 이 치커리랑 같이 먹으면 쌈싸 먹는 느낌이 제대로 날것 같아요. <웃음> 음. 같이 먹어야 진짜 이 궁합이 예술이네. 조합을 잘 알아. 음, 잘 어울려. 같이 먹어야 더그 매력이 상승하는 것 같아. 이 고추장 소스에 없는 그 약간의 그 탱이 있지. 그걸 이 치커리가 딱 메워줘. 그래서 진짜 맛을 더 풍부하게, 맛있게. 다 갖출 수 있게 만들어주는 것 같아. 음, 너무 맛있다. 약간 김치 같은 느낌도 있어가지고 집에서 김치 뚝 떨어져 썼을 때 후드다닥 만들어서 먹어도 재기있을 것 같아. <웃음> 음, 마지막으로 계란을 이 녀석들과 같이 한번 먹어보겠습니다. 좀 크지만 할수 있다. 이 o 거 can go wrong with this. So good. 남은 반죽도 가져와. <laughs> We've been traveling all around the Korean barbecue world. But you know what? We're not done yet. I think we still have 276 more to go. But today, you will see one of my favorites.
When you think of Korean barbecue, the first thing that comes to your mind will be probably pork belly or bulgogi. But there are so many more. So today, with this doenjang, Korean soybean paste, let's make makjo, which is one of the most popular and very traditional Korean barbecues. But you don't have to be overwhelmed by the word traditional because as always with me it's gonna be so simple and delicious for this you will need some pork belly and that's it i'm not kidding but without vegetables we can't call it korean barbecue right so i'm gonna be using some chives not a grass from your backyard for information, this is called Yangyang Puchu, which is a little bit thinner than the garlic chives. But even if you can get this, don't worry about it. Just use some garlic chives or green onions. No problem at all. Alright, let's prep our meat first. Get yourself 500 grams of pork belly and cut that into nice bite-sized pieces. Pork belly has a tendency to curve, but if you score them on both sides like this, trust me, you're gonna get more evenly cooked pork belly at the end. For information, besides this pork belly, you could also use some pork shoulder, pork loin, or anything you like. Because the doenjang marinade that we're gonna make later on will take care of everything. So just grab anything you want and try it. Don't worry about it. Everything will turn out fantastic. Now let's make the marinade. In a mixing bowl, combine 2.5 tablespoons of doenjang, Korean soybean paste, half a tablespoon of soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of oyster sauce, 1 tablespoon of sugar, 3 tablespoons of mirin, 1 tablespoon of minced garlic, 1 tablespoon of corn syrup, 1 tablespoon of toasted sesame oil, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and mix together until it's well combined. So simple, right? Now to our marinade, add in our pork and give it a good massage. And then cover it with plastic wrap and give it some privacy in the fridge for at least 30 minutes. For information, if you let them have a nice vacation, like overnight, they will give you the best Korean barbecue experience. This time, let's make muchim, a Korean style salad. Take a big handful of chives and cut them into 2.5 inches long. Like I said earlier, if you can get this Yongyang Buchu, you can just use garlic chives or even green onions. So don't worry about it. What? You can get them either? Then get yourself some cucumber or any kind of leafy greens. Trust me, everything will be absolutely amazing. But if there are only chives in there, it's a little bit bland or a little bit boring. So I'm just gonna julienne some red chilies. They're really really mild ones but if you don't like anything spicy, you can substitute with bell pepper. Alright, for the dressing, in a small container, add 1 tablespoon of Korean chili pepper flakes, 1 and a half tablespoons of vinegar, 1 tablespoon of sugar, 1 tablespoon of toasted sesame oil, half a tablespoon of toasted sesame seeds, half a tablespoon of minced garlic, 1 teaspoon of fish sauce and give it a good mix. What? You don't think you can handle this fish sauce? Don't worry about it. It's not gonna taste fishy but full of umami. I promise. But if it tastes fish to you, you can come to my house and blame me. But can you come to Seoul? <laughs> anyway, pour it over the chives and give it a nice gentle toss. Yes, I said gentle. If you don't take my advice and squeeze it, you're not gonna get the beautiful chive salad that you're looking for. So please be gentle like handling a baby. Alright, it's time for the barbecue. In a large pan, add some oil, cut the bottom of the pan with paper towels, and heat it over medium heat. Once it gets nice and hot, place the pork belly and cook for about 5 to 6 minutes. Because of the denjang marinade, it can burn easily. So please keep an eye on this and try to flip them every few seconds. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with some charcoal or something. For information, if it's grilled over charcoal like the traditional way, it tastes even better. But since I'm living in the apartment, there's no way to do it. But if you have an awesome outdoor grill in your backyard, please give it a shot. This bad boy will give you the best Korean barbecue experience that you never forget. Finally, it's time to assemble. Let's get some rice into a bowl and add a generous amount of our beautifully cooked mac jug. It's a shame that I couldn't cook it on the grill, so I'm just gonna heat it with a blowtorch, but it's totally optional. Now all you have left is add some chive salad. That's it. What? You think something is missing? Alright, for our taste tester, who's an egg addict, let's put some beautifully cooked soft boiled egg, and then finish it up with some toasted sesame seeds. Alright, it's done. Let's call our taste tester. Claire. Woo, it's good. Denjang marinated pork. Sounds super delicious. I know your favorite Korean condiment is gochujang, but I feel doenjang is so underrated. Let's give it a try. 
듬뿍듬뿍 들어있어서 너무 맛있어 보이고 그리고 내가 좋아하는 이 차한 부분 약간 그을린 부분 너무 맛있어 보인다 Can't wait! Cheers! 음, 음 맛있어 내가 말한 것처럼 정말 된장은 너무 과소평가 됐어 아니 이렇게 맛있는 게왜 과소평가 됐는지 정말 모르겠어 그냥 삼겹살만 먹어도 정말 맛있잖아 그런데 된장에 데워지니까 그 된장의 그 짭조름한 맛 그리고 세이버리 풍미 깊은 맛이 고기에 샥 배가지고 너무 맛있어 그리고 원래 돼지고기 같은 경우는 시간이 좀 지나면 식으면서 좀 딱딱해지는 그런 구석이 있잖아 그런데 이걸 된장에 데워놔서 그런지 시간이 조금 지났음에도 불구하고 아직도 촉촉하니 너무 맛있어 맛있다. 너무 괜찮다. 이거 진짜 너무 추천이다. 돼지고기가 가지고 있는 그 매력을 잘 살려줄 수 있는 그런 레시피인 것 같아. 음, 한 번만 더. 나이스 앤쫄. 이런 무침이 빠지면 코리안 바비큐가 아니지. 고급 한정식 집에서 주는 그런 부추무침 같아. 음, 예. Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. <웃음> Cheers. 음, 와 대박이네 진짜 맛있다 그냥 씹지도 않았는데 입에 싹 들어가는 순간 이 부추의 향긋함이 입안 가득 싹 퍼지면서 맛을 확 끌어준다 정말 맛있어 그리고 이 자체의 양념이 약간 새콤하잖아 그 약간의 산미가 들어가면서 원래 가지고 있던 맥주의 매력이 더두배세배 증가한 그런 느낌이야 와 진짜 잘 어울린다 They are match made in heaven Oh my god So good. <웃음> 아 이거 귀찮아도 해 먹어야겠는 걸? 이거 진짜 강력 추천. 와 너무 잘 어울린다. <웃음> 최고의 궁합인데? 와 이거 진짜 매력 포인트네. 곰돌이 보람이 있어. 음. Cheers. Go go go. 음이 맛이지. 와 진짜 맛있다. 뭐 어느 하나. 잡을 데가 없네 자기 생각에는 내가 워낙 계란을 좋아하니까 이렇게 계란이 있으면 내가 좋아할 줄 알았겠지만 여긴 된장찌개가 있어야 돼 <웃음> 된장찌개를 가져와라 그럼 안 들어 <웃음> What do you think of tofu? Flavorless? Boring? If that's what you think I'm pretty sure you've tried the tofu cooked the wrong way But don't worry about it With this gochujang Your bland tofu will become a n u m a m i bomb Today, we're gonna be making a tofu rice bowl with gochujang sauce. Normally, it tastes like the sweet and spicy Korean fried chicken, but we're gonna eat it with the rice today, right? So I put my own twist on it to make it more perfect for the rice. And I dramatically cut down your cooking time. The taste? Don't worry about it, it'll be the best. For this, you will need tofu, garlic, green onion, ginger, chili pepper, and a bowl of hot rice. That's it! But if you want to make it more pretty and nutritious, then bring broccoli, shishito pepper, or any kind of greens you like, and just put it on top as a garnish. It's not that difficult, right? Alright, as always, let's start off with our love, green onion. The whites are gonna be stir-fried, and the greens are gonna be used for garnish. So make sure to separate both parts, and set them aside. Next, smash 5 cloves of garlic and finely chop them. What? You're a garlic lover? Then you can add 10 or 15 cloves of garlic, just like a normal Korean. Maybe that could be more delicious. Once that's done, finely chop a small knob of ginger. What? Your wife hates ginger? Don't worry about it. You can sneak it in with this grater. Actually, Claire didn't like ginger, but after 10 years, BAM! She became a true ginger lover. A happy ending, right? Now, let's slice some chili peppers. Here, these guys are more of an aesthetic thing, so you can totally skip them. But if you're a married man like me, you better not. You know what I mean. This time, let's prep our tofu. Of course, we could just use it as it is. But if you don't mind putting a little bit more effort and love, cover it with some paper towels and put some heavy stuff. And give it some privacy for about 30 minutes. 
This is gonna get most of the water out and give it a crispy texture that you're looking for. But 30 minutes? Our hungry bird can't wait that long, right? So I'm just gonna cut it into cubes and pat them dry. What? You wanna speed up the process? Then bring your hair dryer. But make sure there's nobody around you when you do it. Your mom or wife will hunt you down and kick your ass. If that happens, I'm not responsible. Now let's move on to the sauce. In a small container, add 2 tablespoons of gochujang, Korean chili paste, 1 tablespoon of Korean chili pepper flakes, 1 tablespoon of soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of oyster sauce, 1 teaspoon of chicken bouillon powder, 1 tablespoon of sugar, 1 tablespoon of corn syrup, 2 tablespoons of mirin, and some black pepper. Keep adding half a cup of water, half a tablespoon of cornstarch, and give that a good mix. With this amazing gochujang sauce, the tofu is not boring anymore. Once it's well combined, set that aside and put half a cup of cornstarch into a tray. Actually, potato starch is the best option to make it crispy, but cornstarch will do the job just fine. So I'm gonna go with that. Add in the tofu cubes and give it a little toss, making sure they're evenly coated. Here, of course you could just pan fry it without this process. But the cornstarch is not only gonna make it crispy, but it's also gonna help absorb more of the sauce. So when you bite into it, trust me, it'll be much tastier. But if it sounds like a hassle, then just put everything in a Ziploc bag and shake it. Shake it like a bartender. Then you will see a magic where this 15 minute recipe turns into a 10 minute recipe. What? You wanna get this kind of tea more and more? I'm so glad you brought that up because I made it for you. With this one book, you can cook more than 100 delicious Korean dishes like a pro. So don't forget to pre-order my book today. The link is in the description. Alright, it's cooking time. Today, my pick for greens is broccoli. So let's cook this guy first. In a pot, place a steamer basket with 3 cups of water and bring it to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, add in your broccoli, cover and steam for about 3 to 4 minutes or until they've reached your desired doneness. Once that's done, shock them in cold water. This will stop the cooking and help them keep their vibrant color. Remember, green always make your dish look fancy. Now in a mixing bowl, add the drained broccoli, 1 teaspoon of minced garlic, 1 teaspoon of soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of toasted sesame oil, 1 tablespoon of toasted sesame seeds, some salt to taste, and gently toast together. That's it. It's really really simple, right? Now for our tofu, get yourself a large pan, add 3 tablespoons of oil, and place it over medium heat. Once the pan gets nice and hot, place your tofu one by one and give it about 6 to 7 minutes. Once they are light golden brown and crispy, pull them out and set them aside. Now place the same pan over medium high and add 1 tablespoon of oil. Once it's heated, add the garlic, green onions, ginger, and stir them around for about 1 minute. Trust me, all the good flavor from these aromatics will take it to the next level. When time's up, pour in our sauce and boil it for 2-3 to three minutes. Once the sauce gets thickened, add the fried tofu back into the pan. Now all we have left is to give it a few stirs just until everything is nicely coated. Last but not least, turn the heat off and finish it off with half a tablespoon of toasted sesame oil. That's it! Couldn't be any easier, right? Alright, it's time to assemble. Put some rice into a bowl and add a generous amount of our tofu. And then add some broccoli, green onions, chili peppers, and toasted sesame seeds. It looks absolutely amazing, right? But if you want to take a nice photo like Instagram worthy, then you can top it with some soft boiled egg or sliced avocado. Alright, it's done. Let's go to our taste tester. Claire? Wow! It looks like a Christmas tree! <laughs> I love it! Is it because Christmas is coming? Mm, let's give it a try! This is a sauce! Oh, the sauce is very soft! It's very soft! It's very soft! It's very soft! It's very soft! Oh my gosh! Look at this! I'm going to put it in a bowl! Ready? Mmm, mmm. 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 
뭔가 이렇게 풍신풍신한 느낌이 겉에 그 약간 쫄깃하면서 바삭한 그 느낌이랑 대조돼서 너무 좋아. 음. 그리고 소스 얘기를 안할 수가 없겠다. 소스가 기가 막혀. 고추장을 불에다가 약간 가열하면 왜 풍미가 확 올라가잖아. 딱그 느낌이야. 너무 맛있어. 감칠맛이 어마무시해. 음! 이거 진짜 밥이랑 먹어야겠다. 좀 많이 커 보이긴 하네. Challenge accepted. <웃음> go, go, go! 음, 역시. 음. 내가 아까 말한 것처럼 밥이랑 같이 먹어야 돼. 소스가 너무 맛있어. 약간 비빔밥 먹는 것 같아. 근데 막 그냥 고추장에다 먹는 거 말고 좀 정성스럽게 만드는 그 고추장 소스 있잖아. 거기다 밥 싹싹싹 비벼가지고 먹는 그런 느낌이야. 고추장은 끓인 게 신의 한 손에. 어, 너무 맛있어. 감칠맛이 쫙 올라오는 게. 여기다 야채까지 먹으면 영락 없는 비빔밥이다. 말 나온 김에 브로콜리랑 먹어볼까? 위에 깨가 싹 뿌려진 게 너무 맛있어 보여. Cheers! 음, 음, 음. 약간 식감이 있는 시금치나물 먹는 거. 딱그 느낌이야. 잘 어울린다. Because I said it tastes like bibimbap, you should not mix it just like when you eat bibimbap. Because it's too pretty. You're gonna mess it up. <웃음> 나는 원래 기본적으로 두부를 되게 좋아해서 그냥 생두부에다가 간장만 찍어 먹어도 되게 맛있거든? 근데 두부를 안 좋아하는 사람이나 두부를 이제 좀 먹어봐야겠다. 이런 사람들한테 좋은 시작이 될것 같아. So, you should give it a try. You're gonna love it. If you didn't like it, Aaron is responsible and not responsible. <laughs> Let me guess. This year, you decided to start cooking more at home. But after work or school, you're exhausted. And you don't want to spend lots of time in the kitchen, especially on a busy weeknight, right? But from now, Don't worry about it and just follow my lead. If you do, you will have one of the best Korean barbecues in under 15 minutes. Today, we're gonna be making galbi, one of the best Korean barbecues. What? You can't believe that we can make it in under 15 minutes? Don't worry about it, we can do it. But I didn't count the marinating time, but I'm not gonna say sorry, because if you make a big batch and store it in the fridge or freezer, whenever you're craving some delicious galbi, you can just pull it out of the fridge and BAM! Your dinner is ready. Pretty good deal, right? For this, you will need some pork, onion, green onion, apple, and Korean pear. That's it. What? There's no Asian supermarket near your place, so you can't get this Korean pear? Don't worry about it. You can't just replace it with an apple. So just use what you have. That's the best. Alright, let's start with the marinade. Get yourself one medium-sized onion, 100 grams of green onions, half a pear, one apple, and just roughly chop them. Here, you don't have to chop it nicely like serving it to your girlfriend's parents or your boss because we're gonna throw everything in a blender. But before you do that, don't forget to take off the core because you can't make them look stupid with these little seeds stuck in their teeth. Trust me, it happens sometimes. But don't get me wrong, it's not my story. Now add one and a half cups of water and just blend it up until nice and smooth. These fruits and vegetables will add a nice sweetness to your marinade. And they're also gonna help tenderize our meat. What? You wanna get this kind of tea more and more? I'm so glad you brought that up because I made it for you. With this one book, you can cook more than 100 delicious Korean dishes like a pro. So don't forget to order my book today. The link is in the description. Once everything is nice and smooth, put it in a mixing bowl. And then to that, add 1 cup of soy sauce, half a cup of mirin, 2.5 tablespoons of oyster sauce, 3 tablespoons of corn syrup, 3 tablespoons of toasted sesame oil, 3 tablespoons of minced garlic, half a tablespoon of grated ginger, 1 teaspoon of black pepper, 1.5 tablespoons of dark soy sauce, half a cup of dark brown sugar, and give that a good mix until the sugar is dissolved. 
Here, the dark brown sugar is not only gonna give us a beautiful color, but it's also gonna add a unique flavor to the marinade. But as always, just because of this, you don't have to go grocery shopping. If you don't have it, you can just use white sugar. No problem at all. And then, if you're looking for that restaurant taste, add one teaspoon of MSG. What? You think I can't make it taste good without this bad boy? Who do you think I am? I'm just trying to catch the slight taste difference with it. That's why I always use a teeny tiny amount of MSG in my recipes. What? You don't buy it? Alright, challenge accepted. Let me prove it without using it. Now, let's talk about the pork. Kalbi means ribs in Korean. But a lot of restaurants use a mix of ribs and Boston bot. Because ribs are very expensive in Korea and hard to work with. So let's just go for Boston bot today. Don't worry about it. Still gonna be fantastic. Alright, let's cut it into slices, about a half inch in thickness. And then score them on both sides. Here, you don't have to make deep cuts, just a little scratch on the surface will be enough. What? You don't have enough time or it sounds like a hassle? Don't worry about it, you can't skip it. But if you wanna show off to your girlfriend or boyfriend, this is unnecessary. The result will be totally different. Alright, let's marinate our pork. Add the pork pieces one by one and gently move it around so that you can coat our pork beautifully. And once that's done, give them some privacy in the fridge for 12 hours. But that's for the people who sell this. I think 4 hours would be enough. Don't get me wrong, it's not because my hungry bird at home is threatening me. Alright, it's been 4 hours. Let's get cooking. In a pan, add a splash of oil and wipe off the excess. Turn the heat to medium high and once it gets nice and hot, add 2 or 3 pieces of your kalbi and cook for about 5 to 6 minutes. This kind of marinated meat is really easy to burn. So when you pan fry this kind of meat, you need to constantly flip them. So try to flip them about every 30 seconds. That's the key. But if it's still about to burn, you can add a little bit more marinade or pour in some water. No problem at all. And while that's going, using your tongs and scissors, cut them into nice bite-sized pieces. For Korean style galbi, you don't need a knife or fork. This will give you that authentic vibe. If you do this in front of your family or friends, trust me, they'll be like, oh, he knows some Korean stuff. He looks so cool. Yeah, this is how to show off. For information, it tastes even better if you cook it on a grill. So if you have an outdoor grill, give that a try. It's amazingly delicious, so you'll be surprised. Alright, once it's cooked through, remove from the pan and set it aside. Now you can just enjoy it with some lettuce and samjang, but let me show you a great way to plate this up. Get yourself a cast iron pan and heat it over medium heat. And then add a little bit of oil, a good amount of sliced onions, and wait until you get a beautiful sizzle. Once the onions soften up a little bit, place your beautifully cooked galbi and finish it up with some toasted sesame seeds and green onions. How does it look? It looks absolutely amazing, right? Alright, let's call our taste tester. Claire? Wow, smells insane. I feel like I'm in heaven. I'm super hungry. Let's give it a try. Ready? Wow! 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 <웃음> 양파랑 일단 갈비의 그 조합이 너무 맛있다. 고기는 부드럽고 양파에서 그 아삭함이 추가가 되는 게 너무 맛있어. <웃음> but I know the secret of this plating. It's one of our favorite 돼지갈비 restaurants in Busan, right? <웃음> 왜 돼지갈비 같은 경우는 밖에서 외식하면서 꼭 숯불에 구워야만 할것 같은 그런 선입견이 있잖아. 근데 집에서 먹어도 충분히 그 맛을 잘 재현할 수 있네. 맛있다. 왜 우리가 딱 좋아하는 그 양념의 조합이잖아. 짭조름하면서 그 살짝 달콤한 고고. 모든 사람이 좋아할 수밖에 없는 그 맛이야. 어, 너무 맛있다. 음. 고기만 먹는데 손이 자꾸 왼손이 나도 모르게 자꾸 이렇게 쌈 쪽으로 갈라 그래서 참느라고 힘들었어. Can I make some sam? Let's make a lettuce wrap. 하나가 좀 나을 것 같아. 두개 정도는 넣어줘야 갈비 양념 묻은 양파. The last one, the most important one, 쌈장. It's gonna balance out everything. Cheers. 
음. 역시 코리안 바베큐에는 이 상추쌈이 빠져서는 안 되는 것 같아 상추쌈 먹기 전에도 맛있었는데 지금 딱 비교를 하잖아? It makes it perfect 그리고 아까 말했던 것처럼 쌈장은 진짜 그 짭조름한 그 녀석이 확킹 역할을 제대로 하는 것 같아 It boosts up all the flavors in there 음, so good Another bite! Ready? 음, 한번 잡을 데가 없는데 <웃음> 맛있는데? But I need some rice. <웃음> Since Claire says Galbi should be with some rice, I brought this Galbi rice bowl. For this, you will need some marinated Galbi, a bowl of hot rice, green onion, soft boiled egg, and cucumber. Of course, you could just cook Galbi and place it over the rice. But with these bad boys, you'll become more beautiful and nutritious. First, let's chop some green onions. How much? Just as much as you want. Told you. More green onion, more delicious. Next, take a cucumber and cut off the ends. And then just thinly slice it. This will add a nice freshness to your rice bowl. What? You're okay with raw cucumber but wanna add some Korean flavors today? Alright then, let's make a very simple dressing. In a small container, add 1 tablespoon of Korean chili pepper flakes, 1.5 tablespoons of vinegar, 1 tablespoon of sugar, 1 tablespoon of toasted sesame oil, half a tablespoon of toasted sesame seeds, half a tablespoon of minced garlic, half a teaspoon of salt, and mix together until it's well combined. And then pour it over the cucumber and give it a little toss. Once everything is well coated, give it a quick taste and add more salt if it's needed. So simple, right? Alright, time for our galbi. Just like before, add a little bit of oil and wipe off the excess. Turn the heat to medium high and once it's heated, add 3 pieces of your marinated pork and cook for about 3 minutes. Once they're cooked on the outside, cut it into big bite-sized pieces with your tongs and scissors. And then add some marinade, which is about a third of a cup, and let it simmer for another 3 minutes. Since they are cooked like a braising, it will make your pork more moist and tender. So it will go so well with the rice. Finally, it's time to assemble. Let's get some rice into a bowl. And add a generous amount of galbi. And then top it up with some cucumber salad, green onion, and a soft boiled egg. Last but not least, sprinkle on some toasted sesame seeds. That's it! It's ridiculously simple, but looks super delicious, right? Alright, let's see how it tastes. 플레이어 음 이런 식으로 플레이팅을 하니까 또 색다른 느낌이 나는데? 음 I never thought of plating this way 음 Anyways, it looks super delicious Let's give it a try <웃음> 내가 좋아하는 오이무침에 갈비에 반숙까지 있네 아까 잔뜩 먹었는데 또, 또 먹고 싶네 <웃음> Let's try the cucumber first 음 여기서부터 이미 오이의 그 상큼한 냄새가 코를 막 자극하네 Ready? Mmm. 매콤, 새콤, 달콤, 완벽하게 그 조합이 예술이야. Mmm. 맛있어. 이번에 rice bowl 답게 밥 위에다가 갈비를 같이 먹어보겠습니다. Mmm. It's glistening. Mmm. Cheers. Mmm. 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 역시 돼지갈비는 밥이랑 먹어야 그 맛이 샤. 살아. 아까 같은 플레이팅으로 하면은 사람들 초대해서 근사하게 대접하기 딱 좋은 그런 플레이팅인 것 같고 이런 거는 그냥 나 혼자 소소하게 먹기 너무 좋고 재워놓은 거 빠르게 조리해가지고 도시락 좀 샥! 넣어가지고 점심 식사로 가져가도 너무 괜찮을 것 같아. So good. It's gonna be great for your lunch. Or dinner. <웃음> 아 진짜 맛있네. 음. 음. 팔아 더했어 음. And a little bit of green onion. 심지어 쌈처럼 오이 무침까지. Ready? <웃음> Challenge failed. <웃음> <웃음> 맛있어. <웃음>